I came into the business from school. With most family businesses, there is always that pull of the business. And the bottom line is, if everything else failed that you were going to do, you could still rely on the family business. This is the bottom of the pipe. This goes through here, through two sets of rollers. It goes through here. And it comes out like that. And that's the bottom of the dough. It's quite, quite, quite a heavy uh, consistency to hold the meat and the gravy. I had thoughts earlier on very early on of becoming a concert pianist. The podger is to make the, the shape of the dish with the dough so that all the meat and gravy can go inside. So this is what Harry's going to do. He's going to podge the pies for you. I was to put my hand on my heart and say, I know every single thing that goes into our food. Every single thing. We produce everything from scratch, from the bottom up. From the flour, the marge, the beef suet, which we prepare ourselves and grind ourselves. Our parsley, we grind ourselves. Fresh English parsley at the moment. In actual fact, it's Spanish, but generally during the season, it's English. We have fresh beef every week that I bone out. I actually butcher it myself. Everything is produced from scratch. So I can put my hand on my heart and I'll say, I know exactly what has gone into it. That is very, very, that's very good. That's a, a real plus side for me. This is the meat with salt and pepper and a drop of water so we can use it and a small drop of uh, gravy browning just to give it a bit of color. And here we go. We have to make vegetable pies now for our vegetarian friends and we make them exactly the same, except in the crust and in the dough, there is no meat products. We use five vegetables, carrot, leek, swede, celery, and potato, and the dough we make with all vegetable products. So vegetable suet, vegetable pastry marge, vegetables in the, in the pie itself. But they're made in exactly the same way but possibly even more handmade than these are because I make all the dough by hand. I have no idea what temperature that is Celsius, but whatever it is, it's 550 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes from raw. Like that, they're not pre-cooked. Five, 550 degrees for 12 minutes and then they'll be done. For hundreds of years, most especially in London, but other cities as well, there were pie men who would make pies for probably a halfpenny or a penny each. Um, an old halfpenny or a penny, not a new one, an old halfpenny and a penny each that they would carry on their head big trays of pies and sell them, um, containing God knows what, because some of them probably didn't contain a, a, a terrific amount of decent meat or decent ingredients indeed. So you can stick the tops on to damp the tops. My great-grandfather decided to put the meat pie with the mashed potato, but most especially the, the, the crucial thing to our meal is the parsley sauce, which is predominantly, would normally be a sauce for fish, or in our case, eels. But he put it with the pie, and thank God it worked. This is short crust pastry, which has got pastry marge and suet. You can see it's a lot thinner and a lot softer than the bottom dough because it's just got to be the crust. And that goes on there. And they've already had a drop of water on them to, to make them wet so they're good. See, when you put the tops on, you must keep your hand like a crab because otherwise if your palm hits here, it'll knock all the meat and the juice out. So you have to be careful. Done. Now they've got to be cut off. There we 
which is what I was brought up to from naught years old, from, from a baby. It's all I've ever known. Right, last year, I just got your old rig here. I did say. I got two in. I did guess. I guess. Okay. Is this kitchen? Where's the kitchen on? Done. People come in and they say, can we have a pie, a mash and gravy? And you say, no. We don't even mention the G word. We don't mention gravy. There is no such thing as gravy in pie and mash. It comes with parsley sauce, liquor. That's it. It's the most traditional meal in the East End of London. Pie, mash and liquor. And there's the prayer recipient. Thank you. Thank you.